So what is Sargassum and why is it causing major problems on some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, especially here in the Dominican Republic? Well, Sargassum is just brown seaweed, but since 2011, this new nature has been forming these massive floating islands that you can actually see from space. The Sargassum is called the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt and it just floats through the ocean and eventually washes up on some of the most beautiful beaches like in Punta Cana. Now here on the north coast of the DR, we don't suffer from sargassum as much and this has to do with a variety of factors. Gracias. De nada. Gracias. Now what's really interesting is the north coast of the DR doesn't really get affected by the sargassum as much thanks to the Mona Passage. And this is also the reason why we don't get hit by hurricanes as much. The Mona Passage is a really strong current right in between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. And that current tends to push that Atlantic belt of seaweed kind of north or either south. So that's why it affects Punta Cana and the south of the island a lot more. Now, I know that the brown seaweed is causing an issue on these beautiful beaches, but it actually tells a story about our beautiful earth and its ability to heal itself. Now, a lot more research is necessary in order to know exactly why this sargassum started happening since 2011. But what we do know so far is that this dense mat of floating seaweed provides a habitat for birds, turtles, fish, crabs, shrimp, and other invertebrates. So it could be a good thing. In 2018, the cost of trying to clean up the sargassum in the Caribbean was about 120 US million dollars, and that does not include the loss of tourism. It's worth mentioning that where some people see a problem, a lot of other people see an opportunity. Sargassum actually has a lot of really cool uses. Some are using sargassum as a natural resources, using it for things like compost, biofuel, livestock feed, part of chemical processes in cosmetics, medicine, or health supplements. Also, to manufacture things like paper, building materials, or bioplastics. Or, what's even more exciting, some people are using sargassum to make bricks for low-cost home, or using it for wastewater treatment in local communities. So, I mean, the opportunities are endless. In order to try to combat the sargassum in Punta Cana, they did install these like floating walls that kind of keep the sargassum from washing up on the shore, but their efforts are futile. While a lot of research still needs to be done so we know what it is we're going to do with all this sargassum washing up on the beaches, it's safe to say that if you don't want sargassum to ruin your beach day, come visit us on the north coast of the Dominican Republic. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe and follow our Real 3DR channel.